Hi, it's MJ. Thank you so much for joining me. And William is behind the camera helping out. Thank you, William. I'm getting ready to do a honey jar ritual. As a sorcerer, I do rituals for people. And one reason why someone would come and ask for a honey jar is because they want to sweeten the relationship between them and their target, uh, the person that they're involved with or someone they want to bring closer to them. So I'm going to do it in this video. There are some things that I'm going to have to be silent about because I can't mention names, but I'm going to do everything in my power to go step by step on how I perform uh, a honey jar as a sorcerer. So uh, let's go ahead and do it. These tools right here are necessary uh, in performing this ritual. For a honey jar, you of course need a uh, jar. This size is good. It doesn't have to be humongous. Uh, just with a good, uh, nice lid. Okay, so about this size, maybe a little bit more, but not really, really big. Honey, of course. I prefer organic, raw, unfiltered honey. Uh, this is very, very powerful when performing uh, a love ritual for a client. Conditioning oil. Now I call this the lovers. Uh, this is oil that I have made myself. I work it for three days. I work it with angels and demons. Uh, angels that work for love and demons that work for love. And uh, the scent is uh, phenomenal. I actually allowed a, a lady to smell it probably about an hour and a half, two hours ago, and she said it was delicious. Also, I use pink candles. Um, you can use small candles or you can use a large candle because pink represents uh, love and romance. And then I have parchment paper, which I'm going to turn into a petition um, and place inside the jar. My writing utensil is a pink pen, as you can see, because pink represents, again, love and romance. I have four love herbs, which I will uh, talk about um, as I am using them in the ritual. A spoon. And I also use matches. I don't use a lighter. When I am performing rituals, I like to keep everything traditional. Uh, and true sorcerers or sorceresses will use matches instead of lighters. I'm not knocking anyone. It's just how I perform my work. So again, this is a honey jar ritual. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pen, pink. And I am going to write the client's name. I can't mention the name, I'm sorry. I cannot show you the name either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the client's name three times. Now, underneath the client's name, I'm going to put their birth date. Okay, this is the client. I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees to the right. Then I'm gonna take the target. That's the client's person of interest. And I'm gonna write their name on top of the client. And then underneath the client's target's name, I'm gonna put their birth date. and do this three times. Okay, then I'm going to turn it to the right 90 degrees. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my pen and I am going to write a command of what the target and the client are supposed to be doing. Uh, the client has requested for the target to do this. So you will watch as I write this, my pen will never lift up off the paper and it's gonna go in a full circle, going clockwise, bringing the person to the other person.
Okay, and I have that connected. All right, now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my lover's oil and I'm going to anoint the petition. And I place it in all corners. One, two, three, four. As you see, I'm going clockwise. And then I place the one in the middle. I'm going to silently think about the client and the target. And I'm telling the target what to do for the client. Now what I'm doing next is I'm taking these love herbs. I'm using catnip, damiana, lavender, and red clover. They're all powerful love herbs. Um, I'm only going to use a pinch, place in the petition. I can't tell you what I'm commanding the, uh, the target to do. Catnip is used for intoxication and to be irresistible. is used to intensify the, uh, the relationship or to bring a lover back. Lavender is to bring harmony and peace to the relationship. And then red clover is for a happy friendship, relationship, marriage, or commitment. All right. Now what I'm going to do is turn it to the right 90 degrees, and I am going to fold the paper to me because I am bringing the target to my client. Turn it to the right, 90 degrees. Thinking about the target coming to the client, turn it 90 degrees again for the third time. Three is a powerful number. Thinking about the target coming to the client. Now I know some sorcerers or sorceresses are going to think, why are you doing the next step? But I do. As I prepare the jar, I sit on it next. There you go. I'm performing the work. Here's the jar. I'm going to take the honey. I'm constantly thinking about the target going to my client. And as I work with the angels and the demons, the angels of love and the demons of love, I am requesting their help and telling them what to do. I'm watching the honey coming out of the jar as the same way that the target is coming to the client. I'm thinking of that target's name over and over and over and over. And 
visualizing them getting together and communicating. See them smiling, laughing, and working out their relationship. All right. Now, I'm going to take the petition and I'm going to place it into the honey jar. Just like that. And before I close it, as I'm working with the spirits, I'm going to take three licks. And I'm going to think of the target. So and so, you will have sweet communication with so-and-so. So-and-so, you will care for and love so-and-so. So-and-so, your relationship will be filled with harmony, peace, care, and love. Close it up. Now I'm going to take the conditioning oil and I'm going to dress the candle going up, thinking about the target and the client. The reason that you go up is you're bringing the person back, making their relationship work and to be peaceful. Continuing to think of the target and the client and what the client is wanting the target to do. And the third candle. Thinking of the client, thinking of the target and what their relationship means and seeing them get back together. All right. With the match, fire is very magical and it brings your intention and your ritual together to make it work. It's all in the power of the mind. Sorcerers and sorceresses know what they're doing. I light it this way, left to right. Thinking of the client, thinking of the target. Never blow it out. And I will work this candle and these candles and this jar for three days. You can keep lighting other candles. And then I will give the jar to the client. This is a honey jar ritual. It's very powerful. You can do it on your own. I always suggest allowing a sorcerer or a sorceress to do it for you because they really know what they are doing. I'm so happy to share it with you. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Thank you, William, so much. And I will see you in another video very soon. Three is very powerful. May love come to you.